I recently bought some equipment for soap making from uh, soapequipment.com. The person who helped me there was really helpful and uh, really helped me make a you know informed decision. And uh, because there was a few you know cutters out there, and uh, we were just manually cutting you know one bar at a time, but um, as our soap you know making has increased, we need something that works more efficiently and quicker. This uh, soap cutter was the you know definitely the best decision we made as uh, far as choice goes. It's a very it's it is very 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 heavy, really heavy, and it got it has these two handles that you can see here. You can you know grip to pull up, and also the very thin you know wire here to cut right through the bar which uh, I'll show you shortly uh, but basically uh, it cuts a whole log which and makes about 15 uh, bars of soap this is our log over here this is a um, Moroccan clay that you can see the long bar this is saran wrap on top after I'm done I usually just put saran wrap to keep any you know dust and anything else out of it which I'll remove that that would be garbage. A few of the things uh, before I show you how to cut uh, the soap is uh, that I also bought uh, a commercial grade hand mixer. It is brand new and it's stainless steel. You know, it's very important to use stainless steel when you're dealing with lye and making uh, natural soaps. I also got this. I'm using one hand right now. There's some soap samples right there waiting to get wrapped up. Okay, this infrared thermometer. All I do is press it and I get the temperature. There you have it. Easy as that. That way you don't have to go too close to the soap. You know, and then the thermometer also won't fall in. I actually have had that happen before. So this one I like is just a, you know, point and get your temperature. It has a nice case too. Goes right back into this case and fits perfectly. Have that. And I had also gotten this, I guess you could call it a kettle, but a stainless steel. You can see it. Stainless steel to melt all the oils. Yeah, it's really nice. So that'll last a long time. All right, let's put this back in here for now. And let me set up to show you how to cut soap with this soap maker. I think that, yeah, that's a pretty good view. Doesn't really go any further back than that. But, okay, all right. So you can see I'm lifting it. I wish I could, let's try here. Thanks for waiting. Oh, okay, that, that's a bit better. Anyhow, you can see. And here is where I'm going to have to line it up. I need to line that up really well. This is freezer paper that I'm unwrapping the soap out of. You can see, I'm going to unwrap it. Yeah, I know it's really loud when you unwrap it. So let me get this out of the way. One moment. All right, so this is uh, Moroccan clay. I don't remember if I mentioned that that was Moroccan clay. All right, let's line it up. I'm bringing it as close as possible. There, you can see that. I usually line it up just to make sure, you know, I'm cutting right. This looks, this looks good. Okay, you guys are ready? It's going to be quick. All right, look at that. Slices all the way through. One shot, then I'm done. Want to see my soap? 
There you have it. Bars of soap. Moroccan clay, ready to be boxed, shipped. I will trim it a bit, you know, give it some nice, you know, smoother edges. You can do that, you know, because it does sometimes have a bit of bumps, and I just smooth it out. And then we got to let these uh, lay out and dry for quite some time, and then it'll be ready to go. All right, well, this, like I said, the website is soapequipment.com. If you're really into soap making, this is an amazing cutter and it has a very good guarantee on it. I'm really happy that we purchased this because it was definitely something that uh, we definitely needed. So I hope that you'll give it a try and uh, you know, check them out. Alright guys, have a good week.